Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Dabulkar. In this video, we will see one way to run Apex code asynchronously and that is feature methods. In last video, we have seen what is asynchronous process and how it is implemented in Apex. So see, in last video, we have seen what is asynchronous Apex, right? And also we have seen what are the different ways to run our Apex code asynchronously, right? So see. In last video, we have seen feature methods, batch apex, queable apex, schedule apex. These are the four ways to run apex code asynchronously. In this video, we will see details about feature methods and also we will see some examples. Now see, feature method runs in its own thread or transaction. So already we have seen in last video, feature methods are used to create asynchronous process, right? And they run in their own thread, separate thread as another process background process. These feature methods execute when system resources are available. So feature methods are asynchronous processes. These are not real time processes, right? They wait till resources are available. So already we have seen this in last video. Now see how to implement or how to create feature methods. It is very simple. We need to use annotation at feature for our methods. So for any method, if you use add feature annotation then that method will be asynchronous method or asynchronous process so it is very simple now see there are some requirements for that method so suppose if we want to make any method as a feature method then there are some requirement so see feature method must be static it should be static and it must have wide written type so see these are some basic requirements feature method must be static and it must have wide written type. So see what we will do, we will go step by step and we will see example for this. So by that it will be very clear. So see, here I have opened developer console. Here I have created one class that is feature example one. In this class, I have added two methods. One is update records and second is insert records. By this method, I am updating some records from the lead object. And by another method, I am adding one record into lead object, right? So see, here I have not used feature method. Let us see what will happen. What we will do, we will run it. So see, in anonymous window, here I have written, I am printing feature method example. In this statement, I am creating one object f of class feature example 1, like this. And then I am calling update records method. And after that, I am calling insert records method. Okay, now see, we will execute by clicking on execute button. Okay, now see. Okay, so see, we will click on this logs. So here you can see, there is only one process, right? There is only one process. So in logs, you can see, there is only one process, right? Because we have not created any asynchronous process, right? So because of that, there is only one process. Now what we will do? will create a synchronous process. So see, now see, here we will create feature method. So it is very simple, right? Suppose I want to make this method as our feature method. So I have to use add feature annotation. So see, before this method, I have to use annotation add feature like this. So by this, this method will be feature method and this method will be run asynchronously. But see, here you can see there is one problem, right? So see, what is problem? Here you can see, feature methods must be declared as static, right? So already here we have seen, feature methods must be static and they must have wide written type, right? Okay, so see. So what we will do, we will make this method as static and already this method has written type wide, right? Okay, now we will save it. So see, now there is no problem. Right? So, feature method must be static and it must have wide written type. Right? Okay. Now, see, we will run it. So, again, we will click on debug, then we will click on open execute anonymous window. Okay. So, already we have this code. Okay. Now, see, we have made this method static. Right? So, we can call this method directly by using class name. So, see, what we will do? We will use class name. So, see, instead of here, here, we will mention class name like this. Now, we will click on execute button. Here you can see. 
Now see, we will click on these logs. Now see, when previously we have run, so at that time there was only one process, right? But now when we have run our code, so here there are two processes, right? First process and second process, right? And out of that, one is feature method, feature process, asynchronous process, right? So see, from our anonymous window, here you can see, this is our feature method call, right? So this is our asynchronous process and remaining is synchronous process, right? So here you can see, this is our synchronous process and another is feature method process, asynchronous process. So in this way, by using feature method, we can create a synchronous process. Okay, now see, third one. We cannot call any feature method or any asynchronous process from the feature method. What is the meaning of this? From one feature method, we cannot call another feature method. So see. So see, what we will do? This another method, insert records. So this method also will make feature method. So see, for that purpose, here we will use annotation add feature, right? And as we are making this method as feature method, here we have to make it static. Okay, it is done. Now see, what we will do? We will call this method from this method. Like this. So see, what we are doing? This is our one feature method, right? We are calling this method from this feature method. Right? Here we are calling. Now let us see what will happen. So see, so see, here in problems, it is not showing any problem, right? But see, what will happen when actually we will run it? We will go to debug, open execute anonymous window. Okay, now see, this insert records is also static method, right? So what we will do? We will use class name. Like this. Okay, and there is no need to create object, right? So we will remove this. Now see, we will run by clicking on execute button. Okay, it is done. Now let us see. We will click on this logs. So here you can see feature method cannot be called from a feature method. So see. Here you can see feature method cannot be called from a feature or batch method, right? So basically you cannot call any asynchronous process. Maybe it is feature method or batch method from the feature method. See again I am repeating. From the feature method, you cannot call any other feature method or batch method. So here we have seen by one example, right? Okay, now see. If you click on this filter and here if you type feature. So here you can see number of feature calls to by two because see both the methods we have made it feature, right? Both our methods we have defined it as a feature method, right? So that's why here it is showing number of feature calls to. Now see next requirement parameters must be of primitive data types for example id integer string or collection of primitive data types for example list or set but not non primitive data types for example s object standard or custom object name or class name now see what is the meaning of this so see here for this feature method here we have not passed any parameter but if we want to pass any parameter, so that parameter should be primitive data type. That parameter should be of primitive data type. Primitive data types, for example, string, id, integer, etc. In my Udemy course, already I have created one video on Apex primitive data types. So from that, you can find out what are the primitive data types. So in feature method, we can have parameters of primitive data types or collection of primitive data types. Collection in the sense list or set, right? Okay, now see but we cannot have non primitive data type for example yes object standard or custom object name for example lead class name so these are the non primitive data types so we cannot use parameters for feature methods of non primitive data type so for this we will see one example and from that it will be very clear so see what we will do i am copying this code and we will paste here like this so see here we'll change the name we'll make it two okay now what we'll do we'll remove this statement okay and we'll comment this like this
okay now see what we'll do for this feature method we'll pass one parameter let us see so here what we'll do we will add list now see suppose here i am adding list of lead lead object like this and records something like this now see i am saving it so see here it is showing one problem right let us see what is the problem feature methods do not support parameter type of list actually it support list but not of type lead because lead is an object name right so it is non primitive data type that's why it is not supporting now see suppose instead of lead suppose if i make it id something like this now see we will save it so see now here it is not showing any problem right here you can see now there is no problem right so see if i make it lead then it will show problem because feature method cannot accept parameter of non primitive data type but it can accept parameter of primitive data type right okay now what we'll do we'll make this program meaningful so see what we'll do instead of this list we'll use another collection for example set and here we'll change the name suppose records id okay now see we'll remove this comment like this here instead of tcs suppose i am making vpro something like this okay now see here we are accepting id right so this will be set of ids right so see what we'll do we'll change this soql query so see where id in colon this variable like this so see this sql query will fetch records where id is in this set and then we are updating records right okay now see what we will do we will change code in anonymous window so see now see here we will create one map so we will give some name for example record map something like this is equal to new map now see for this we have to mention type right so see suppose id and lead like this and same we'll mention here like this now see in this round bracket here we have to mention a sql query and that should be in rectangular bracket like this now see we'll copy this query from here like this so see here i have written a sql query this will fetch list of records right now that we are saving in one map right now see here we are calling update records method right but see this update records method it is accepting one set set of ids right so see here we have to pass set of id so from where we can get so see this record map see here we will paste but it is map right it is map what we want set of id so see we can get it by calling key set like this so see this method will return set of keys and what is the key key is id right and that will pass to this update records method okay and one more change we have to make because see our class name is feature example 2 right okay so here we will make it 2 like this okay now we will run our code by clicking on execute okay it is done so here you can see we will click on refresh grid okay so here you can see company name is updated in all records right i will provide this program code in my udemy course you can download it from these resources okay we will meet in next video thank you